All right, so real quick, um, I wanted to go over a little bit of stuff that's not on any slide that I had that I just wanted to say out to you. This is Miss Callahan again. Um, first off, we need to think about our non-renewable resources that we use that we are burning like coal, and we need to come up with better ideas for those resources. So instead of doing coal, I know it's cheap, but instead of doing coal, we can go to wind power or hydropower or something that will sustain us. Solar power would be great. Speaking of solar power, solar power does come from the sun, and that is our primary source of energy. That's where all energy comes from, the starting point of energy. The sun provides plants through photosynthesis glucose, and we get our glucose from plants. Plants, like I said, they use photosynthesis. They take up carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight, and they produce oxygen and glucose. And those are things that we actually take in through cellular respiration, and that's where we get our ATP or our energy from. Um, some other things that we talked about included... I'm going to look real quick. Um, we talked about how clouds are formed. Remember the clouds are formed from evaporation of water and then after the evaporation it, it goes up into the atmosphere and then it cools off and condenses and that forms our clouds. And we talked a little bit about humidity, humidity which was dealing with... Um, it was dealing with how much the actual sorry about that this camera wants to move it was talking about how much water the actual air could contain before it condensed so that's humidity and how high the humidity is we did talk about the water cycle a little bit please remember that the water cycle starts out in the aquifers and our aquifers contain the water that we can actually drink considered potable or portable water. After that, um, you've got to remember that we take up that water and it, it gets into our septic tank and then it seeps back down. But infiltration, which is how we get filtered water into the aquifer, takes a long time. And it takes a lot longer time for that infiltration to occur than it does for us to actually pump it out of the aquifer. So what's going on is we only have a little percentage of water on earth that's actually drinkable. If you exclude the lakes and the ocean, we pretty much don't have, we have less than 1% that's actually drinkable. So with that being said, we are using that up a lot quicker than we're actually, the, the earth can actually filter, filter it back down the soil layers and the rock layers into the aquifer. Um, also, we talked about uh, the tides and the astronomy dealing with the earth, and that's going to be in another video.